Ole Crispinson Romola O.M. The 25th of September 1644 to 19 September 1710 was a Danish astronomer who in 1676 made the first quantitative measurements of the speed of light. In scientific literature alternative spellings such as Roma, Roma, or Roma are common. General Biography Roma was born on 25 September 1644 in Aarhus to a merchant and skipper, Christen Pedsen, and Anna Olifstadt a storm, daughter of a well-to-do alderman. Since 1642, Christen Pedersen had taken to using the name Roma, which means that he was from the Danish island of Romo, to distinguish himself from a couple of other people named Chris and Pedsen. There are few records of Ole Roma before 1662, when he graduated from the old Aarhus Cathedral School, moved to Copenhagen and matriculated at the University of Copenhagen. His mentor at the university was Rasmus Bartholin, who published his discovery of the double refraction of a light ray by Iceland Spa in 1668. While Roma was living in his home, Roma was given every opportunity to learn mathematics and astronomy using Tycho Brahe's astronomical observations, as Bartholin had been given the task of preparing them for publication. Roma was employed by the French government, Louis XIV made him tutor for the Dauphin, and he also took part in the construction of the magnificent fountains at Versailles. In 1681, Roma returned to Denmark and was appointed professor of astronomy at the University of Copenhagen, and the same year he married Anne-Marie Bartholin, the daughter of Rasmus Bartholin. He was active also as an observer, both at the University Observatory at Rundetan and in his home, using improved instruments of his own construction. Unfortunately, his observations have not survived. They were lost in the Great Copenhagen Fire of 1728. However, a former assistant Peder Horribo, loyally described and wrote about Roma's observations. In Roma's position as royal mathematician, he introduced the first national system for weights and measures in Denmark on 1 May 1683. Initially based on the Rhine foot, a more accurate national standard was adopted in 1698. Later measurements of the standards fabricated for length and volume show an excellent degree of accuracy. His goal was to achieve a definition based on astronomical constants using a pendulum. This would happen after his death, practicalities making it too inaccurate at the time. Notable is also his definition of the new Danish mile of 24,000 Danish feet. In 1700, Roma persuaded the king to introduce the Gregorian calendar in Denmark, Norway, something Tycho Brahe had argued for in in vain a hundred years earlier, Roma developed one of the first temperature scales while convalescing from a broken leg. Fahrenheit visited him in 1708 and improved on the Roma scale, the result being the familiar Fahrenheit temperature scale still in use today in a few countries. Roma also established navigation schools in several Danish cities. In 1705, Roma was made the second chief of the Copenhagen police, a position he kept until his death in 1710. As one of his first acts, he fired the entire force, being convinced that the morale was alarmingly low. He was the inventor of the first streetlights in Copenhagen and worked hard to try to control the beggars, poor people, unemployed, and prostitutes of Copenhagen. In Copenhagen, Roma made rules for building new houses, got the city's water supply and sewers back in order, ensured that the city's fire department got new and better equipment, and was the moving force behind the planning and making of new pavement in the streets and on the city squares. Roma died at the age of 65 in 1710.
Roma and the speed of light. The determination of longitude is a significant practical problem in cartography and navigation. Philip III of Spain offered a prize for a method to determine the longitude of a ship out of sight of land, and Galileo proposed a method of establishing the time of day, and thus longitude, based on the times of the eclipses of the moons of Jupiter, in essence using the Jovian system as a cosmic clock. This method was not significantly improved until accurate mechanical clocks were developed in the 18th century. Galileo proposed this method to the Spanish crown but it proved to be impractical, because of the inaccuracies of Galileo's timetables and the difficulty of observing the eclipses on a ship. However, with refinements the method could be made to work on land. After studies in Copenhagen, Roma joined the observatory of Uraniborg on the island of Hven, near Copenhagen, in 1671. Over a period of several months, Jean Picard and Roma observed about 140 eclipses of Jupiter's moon Io, while in Paris Giovanni Domenico Cassini observed the same eclipses. By comparing the times of the eclipses the difference in longitude of Paris to Uranienborg was calculated. Cassini had observed the moons of Jupiter between 1666 and 1668, and discovered discrepancies in his measurements that, at first, he attributed to light having a finite speed. In 1672 Roma went to Paris and continued observing the satellites of Jupiter as Cassini's assistant. Roma added his own observations to Cassini's and observed the times between eclipses got shorter as Earth approached Jupiter, and longer as Earth moved farther away. Cassini made an announcement to the Academy of Sciences on the 22nd of August 1676. This second inequality appeared appears to be due to light taking some time to reach us from the satellite. Light seems to take about 10 to 11 minutes a distance equal to the half diameter of the terrestrial orbit. Oddly, Cassini seems to have abandoned this reasoning, which Roma adopted and set about buttressing in an irrefutable manner, using a selected number of observations performed by Picard and himself between 1671 and 1677. Roma presented his results to the French Academy of Sciences, and it was summarized soon after by an anonymous reporter in a short paper, Demonstration touchant le mouvement de la lumière trouvée par M. Roma de l'Académie des Sciences, published 7 December 1676 in the journal Des Cavans. Unfortunately the paper bears the stamp of the reporter failing to understand Roma's presence presentation, and as the reporter resorted to cryptic phrasings to hide his lack of understanding, he obfuscated Roma's reasoning in the process. Unfortunately Roma himself never published his results. Assume the Earth is in L, at the second quadrature with Jupiter, and Io emerges from D. After several orbits of Io, at 42.5 hours per orbit the Earth is in K. Roma reasoned that if light is not propagated instantaneously, the additional time it takes to reach K, that he reckoned about three and a half minutes, would explain the observed delay. Roma observed immersions in C from the symmetric position positions F and G, to avoid confusing eclipses and occultations. In the table below, his observations in 1676, including the one on August 7, believed to be in opposition H, and the one observed at Paris Observatory to be 10 minutes late, on November 9. By trial and error, during eight years of observations Roma worked out how to account for the retardation of light when reckoning the ephemeris of Io. 
He calculated the delay as a proportion of the angle corresponding to a given Earth's position with respect to Jupiter, delta T equals 22. When the angle alpha is 180 degrees the delay becomes 22 minutes, which may be interpreted as the time necessarily for the light to cross a distance equal to the diameter of the Earth's orbit h to e. That interpretation makes it possible to calculate the strict result of Roma's observations, the ratio of the speed of light to the speed with which Earth orbits the Sun, which is the ratio of the duration of a year divided by bias compared to the 22 minutes 365 24 60 pi 22 approximately equals 7600. In comparison the modern value is circa 299,792 kilometers s minus 1 29th point 8 kilometers s minus 1 approximately equals 10,100. Roman either calculated this ratio, nor did he give a value for the speed of light. However, many others calculated a speed from his data, the first being Christian Wiegens. After corresponding with Roma and eliciting more data, Wiegens deduced that light traveled 16 and two-thirds Earth diameters per second. Roma's view that the velocity of light was finite was not fully accepted until measurements of the sequel aberration of light were made by James Bradley in 1727. In 1809, again making use of observations of Io, but this time with the benefit of more than a century of increasingly precise observations, the astronomer Jean-Baptiste Joseph de Lambry reported the time for light to travel from the Sun to the Earth as 8 minutes and 12 seconds, depending on the value assumed for the astronomical unit. This yields the speed of light as just a little more than 300,000 kilometers per second. The modern value is 8 minutes and 19 seconds, and a speed of 299,792.458 km per second. A plaque at the Observatory of Paris, where the Danish astronomer happened to be working, commemorates what was, in effect, the first measurement of a universal quantity made on this planet. Inventions. In addition to inventing the first street Lights in Copenhagen, Roma also invented the meridian circle, the altazimuth, and the passage instrument, Ole Roma Medal. The Ole Roma Medal is given annually by the Danish Natural Science Research Council for outstanding research. The Ole Roma Museum. The Ole Roma Museum is located in the municipality of Hochtastrup, Denmark, at the excavated site of Roma's observatory, Observatorium. Tusculanum at Vritslo's Megal. The observatory opened in 1704 and operated until about 1716, when the remaining instruments were moved to Rundetan in Copenhagen. There is a large collection of ancient and more recent astronomical instruments on display at the museum. The museum opened in 1979 and has since 2002 been a part of the museum crop edel at the same location. Honours in Denmark, Ole Roma has been honoured in various ways through the ages. He has been portrayed on banknotes. The eponymous Ole Roma's hill is named after him, as are streets in both Aarhus and Copenhagen respectively. Aarhus University's astronomical observatory is named the Ole Roma Observatory in his honour, and a Danish satellite project to measure the age, temperature, physical and chemical conditions of selected stars was named the Roma satellite. The satellite project stranded in 2002 and was never realized though. The Roma crater on the moon is named after him.
In popular culture, in the 1960s, the comic book superhero The Flash on a number of occasions would measure his velocity in Romas, in honor of Ole Romas' discovery of the speed of light. In Larry Niven's 1999 novel Rainbow Mars, Ole Roma is mentioned as having observed Martian life in an alternate history timeline. Ole Roma features in the 2012 game Empire Total War as a gentleman under Denmark.